Hey everybody, I have crossed Lake Michigan and I have arrived at the Gardens at Ball in West Chicago and I have to say this is pretty exciting for me because a lot of my favorite varieties of plants are uh, put out by Ball and it's really kind of exciting to be able to see them here and how they're growing and a lot of new varieties are coming out. So I wanted to show you kind of my favorites that I've seen and uh, kind of give you a view of just how fantastic this place is. This is home to some of my favorite Calabarcoa, like this series here. These are all the Cabaret series. And one of the colors that I hadn't seen in person before was this one right here. It's called Strawberry Parfait. And I really like the uh, kind of light pink color with that nice almost fuchsia interior. Just really beautiful. And look at how nice that mounds. And then over here, they have some of the, uh, these are some of the Congo, which are the really more small mounding ones, but the Cha-Chas. This one is probably my favorite series just because they're nice and big and they fill out really, really nicely. And the fuchsia is one that we had such amazing luck with. It just flowered all the time, as well as the yellow. Those two really were standouts. Uh, my mom absolutely loves the, I think it's the lavender, and then, or the deep, deep blue, I think it's called. And then the red kiss, that's another one with that beautiful eye in there that's nice and dark. I think we're seeing the reason why this is called bumblebee because the bumblebees do love it. Uh, but this is a series that we've had trouble getting. Uh, every time we order it, always one of the colors tends to be canceled. So uh, we might be switching out to something else, but I do love it. Look at how nice and full. And it keeps up as far as vigor with the cha-cha. The pink Hawaii has been out for a while, but new this year is the red Hawaii. So look at the nice kind of yellow and red color on there. Just a really exciting kind of addition for Calabricoas. I think it's pretty easy to see why the Bees Knees Petunia is one of my favorites. Beautiful color, lots of flowers, and the size is perfect for containers and hanging baskets, but it looks good in the landscape as well. There was one greenhouse that I visited that used it as kind of a focal plant, and I couldn't believe how huge they were able to get their plants. And right over here next to it, this is the Jewel Collection Midnight Gold. And this is one we've carried before. And what I really like about this one is that you never notice the spent blooms because the new blooms just keep coming and covering them over and over again. That's not always the case with some of the uh, bigger or double petunias. So nice to see this one in action again. I think we need to get this one back uh, in our collection because it is a really beautiful one. Around us, Angelonia tends to be a bit of a sleeper plant, and that's because it waits until it warms up to start putting on a show. But once it does, it's absolutely stunning. It tends to flower a lot, and this is one of their new colors. This is Archangel Ruby Sangria. Beautiful kind of a burgundy, reddish color here. Really dark. I haven't seen an Angelonia quite that dark in the reds before. I absolutely love it. And the nice thing about the varieties that they carry, they tend to be really good at branching. So they uh, get almost like a shrub. So the Archangel series is good for that, but also one of my favorites is up here. This is the Angel Dance series. So this is the bicolor violet, and this is the fuchsia bicolor and both of these this is one that really can hold its own in a container but you know mixes really nice as well but look at how many flowers you get it's just so many branches and so many stems it's just fantastic and angelonia is also really quite deer resistant so this is one of those that people should think about but because it doesn't bloom a whole lot in like late may when we're uh, selling most of our plants it usually just starts blooming at that time people a lot of times skip out on it but definitely i'm going to say put it on your list have a look at this display of coleus. It's absolutely incredible. And Ball was kind of a leader in getting us coleuses that could take full sun and full shade. And they're absolutely stunning. So like this is more of a trailing variety, Trailblazer Glory Road, Trailblazer Road Trip. I don't have these memorized, so I'm kind of reading the tags as I go. This one is from the Volcanica series, Solar Flare. This one is Lime Wire. Uh, that one back there, I can't remember. I think that's French Quarter up there at the top. This one is Trusty Rusty. Beautiful color on these. The Flamethrower series we really enjoyed. We had the mix. This one here I really like. It's called Spice Curry. And I love the coppery leaves. That's Salsa Verde. Uh, Habanero up there. And I think that one is Roja. And then this is, I think, the Charged Up Collection. Yep, so this is Vulcan. This is Henna. This is the one that I had put in my own containers uh, just because I, I love this kind of color of leaf and the underside is a little bit different color as well. So I really enjoyed that one. Let's see, I'm just going to see the ones like this is Dragonheart. This one here is Inferno. Uh, they have a couple others. They also have some microcoleuses. So we've carried the Spitfire before. Uh, this one's called Heartbreaker. What's this one? 
special effects, matchsticks. We don't necessarily carry all the uh, minis just because they're a little harder sell for us. Uh, we tend to do better with the bigger coleus. Here are the hula begonias. I love how these grow. They're perfect for baskets, but I've also seen them in the landscape and they cover really well. But you can see they get these nice long arms that start to trail. And so there's like a red, there's a kind of bicolor, and then there's also a pink. I think the pink is right down here. And pink is probably my favorite in this category. I just think the contrast with the leaves and the way it stands out just looks really nice. Here we have the Osteospermum, and these kind of go in and out of flower, but when they're in bloom, they're absolutely fantastic. This is the Serenity Electric Rose. Beautiful color on that one. This is the Zion Rose Surprise. This one, the surprise is that it opens more peach, and then as it ages, it gets this beautiful rose color. This one here is the Serenity Coral Magic, which as the name Magic suggests that it probably is a color-shifting one as well. And then we have the Orange uh, burst, the Zion orange burst, and I don't have, here's a decent example of what the color looks like. And then I really do like the Voltage Gold. This yellow gold color is very different from some of the other ones, and it's a very intense color on this one. Everybody's been talking about this new pet koa called Caliburst Yellow, and this one's available from seed. So if you like to start your plants from seed, this is a really good one for you to have. Now comparing it to some of the other Super Cal pet koas, this is going to have a little bit smaller habit. Meanwhile, if you want to compare it to, say, the Bee's Knees Petunia, the flower color is very similar. The flower is a little bit smaller, and the habit is smaller than the Bee's Knees. But it's a beautiful plant. Look at how many flowers we're getting off of this. And everywhere I've gone, it's been covered like this with bloom. So it seems like an exceptionally good uh, per performer. Lantana is another heat lover, and you can see you can get so many beautiful colors and beautiful blooms off of this. But one that's really gotten my attention is the one called Passion Fruit. Now this is a standalone, it's not part of a series, but you can see, look at the beautiful pink and gold color on that. And you can see how it transitions. It starts out in the lighter color and then it'll gradually change to the pink color. So you get a, a, a bicolor off of that. There's another example of it right over here. You can see these three are all part of that passion fruit. This is a type of lantana that is much more apt to trail. So it's, it's more of a trailing variety, perfect for hanging baskets. I really love this color. And you can see this is like a fully mature uh, flower here. And these are the ones that are kind of transitioning from their gold color. Beautiful stuff. They also do a great job with their geraniums. I'm especially a fan of their Fantasia and their Dynamo series. Their colors are true to color. So when they say it's going to be orange, it's a beautiful orange. And when they say dark red, I can tell there's a difference between their dark red and their cardinal red. And they have a beautiful Dynamo light pink. It's one of the few truly light pink uh, geraniums out there. So it's, it's just nice to see these also growing the way they do. Each one is a little bit different size. So the Galaxy is different than the Fantasia and the uh, Presto is a small one. So they have a lot of different size geraniums. We tend to lean towards more of the, uh, the larger sizes, the ones that fill the pots a little bit nicer. This is a new series of pet koa called In Viva, and I really do tend to like the pet koas. I'm a big fan of the Super Cal series. Uh, this is a brand new one, and I love them because they're always so covered in flowers. They're absolutely stunning, and they're really durable flowers and plants. They tend to do really well in our area, and uh, the colors of the new In Viva are the pink, red, white, and blue, and they seem to be doing really well here in the trial gardens. I, I absolutely love them, so uh, I'm happy to share those with you. We definitely have to give at least some of the colors a try that, for next season. Uh, now, I've had a really great time here. They also have a perennial section, an edible section, a cut flower section. I'm sticking to annuals because that's what I'm ordering right now, and so uh, it's kind of top of mind, and it's kind of important for me to see these different varieties right now. Now, if you, this garden is not open to the public, however, if you're part of a garden group, you can schedule a, a tour here in West Chicago. So you just contact Ball and they can help you arrange that. Uh, but again, not open to the public, but if you're part of a group, a gardening group, uh, you, you may qualify to be able to get in here and see these plants for yourself.